This one's on the special. This one just has got a Tempo has reached critical level. Tempo has reached critical level. <laughs> In criminal law, rape is a type of sexual assault usually involving sexual intercourse, which is initiated by one or more persons against another person without the person's consent. According to the American Medical Association, sexual violence and rape is particular. It's considered the most underreported violent crime. The rate of reporting, prosecution, and convictions for rape varies considerably in different jurisdictions. The U.S. Bureau of Justice Statistics estimated that 91% of U.S. rape victims are female and 9% are men, with 99% of the offenders being male. In one survey of assaulted said that the assault was perpetrated by a stranger. Several studies argue that male and male and female and female prison rape are quite common and may be the least reported form of rape. It is important to us because we are women and we must always be on guard. We have come to an age where we are sexually endangered and have a higher risk of being raped, so we need to keep people informed. 44% of victims are under age 18, 80% are under the age of 30, about every two minutes someone in the United States is sexually assaulted, and 60% of assaultants are not reported to the police. Stay aware. Do not jog with your eye ponder because attackers are looking for easy, distracted prey. The same can be said for talking on your cell phone. On the other hand, if you feel someone is following you, it can be helpful to pull out your cell phone and pretend to be talking to someone because your conversation partner would be aware of an attack. If your potential attacker is going for no witnesses, they might back off and change their mind. You can pretend that you are meeting up with someone that is already here slash heading this way very soon. Don't say five minutes, or the attacker may only decide to take action quicker. If they think you are in safe hands or it would be less than a minute, they might back off. Learn to trust your gut instinct. Understand, Understand that your hairstyle could benefit that attacker. Ponytails are the number one style that rapists look for because they are easy to grab and you can be held with them. Carry defense items only if you know how to use them. Yell, shout, or draw attention to yourself. Stay careful of parties and bars. Don't drink anything that someone gives you. Always open and order your own drinks. Never, ever leave a drink unattended for even a moment. Keep your hand over the top of the drink. Do not accept a drink from a date unless the bartender or wait staff have delivered it straight to you. Don't want to be rude? Take it to the restroom and dump it. Think and practice being careful at clubs or other places with loud music. Sometimes it's so loud that no one will be able to hear you cry for help. Work on being assertive. Plan. If a rapist is in your car and sitting in the passenger seat with their weapon to you, they will tell you to go somewhere where they are less likely to be witnessed. Whatever you do, don't follow the direction. Put on a seatbelt, then drive into something stationary, like a dumpster or a post. The airbag and seatbelt will keep you alive, and the crash will draw attention. It is better to be in a car accident than raped and possibly killed. Stay calm and try to surprise the rapist. Understand that vans are the number one vehicle used to rape. Rapists will park next to your driver's side, and as you're trying to get in, they will pull in you into the van. If there is a van on the driver's side of your car, go in through the passenger's door. If there are vans on both sides, go back to where you were and get someone like a security guard to walk you to your car. Don't park in a place that feels unsafe. 
Practice being careful when you're going to your house or car because someone could easily push you in and lock the door behind you. Be aware of your surroundings. Carry your keys ready in your hand and look around you before opening the door. Bring a dog. If you're going to the park, beach, etc. alone, if you have a dog with you, it's like having another person with you. Large dogs are intimidating to predators even if your pet isn't exactly brave. If you don't have a large dog, bring a small one anyway. Mentally prepare. If you're taking by a rapist, you must do everything in your power to escape, even if it means hurting yourself. Sometimes, a rapist would kill his victims to prevent him from being caught or identified. If a rapist comes to your home, throw heavy items through the windows and at the rapist. Make as much noise as you can. Do not get in the car or van with them if you can help it and jump out of a moving car or crash the car if you're driving. Learn to sing. This means solar plexus, instep, nose, groin. The four attack points you should focus on if grab from behind. Elbow them in the solar plexus, stomp on the foot as hard as you can, and when they let go, turn around and jam the palm of your hand into their nose in an upward motion. Then finish with the knee to the groin. This may disable your assault to long enough for you to get away. Don't worry about hurting them because they intend to do something much worse to you. On those scales, go for the four sensitive areas of the body. But just remember to sing. S-I-N-G.